Gerard, Chris in Long Island, New York. Well, welcome to Coast. Uh, say hi to David Wilcock. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Dave. How you guys doing? Doing good, Chris. Well, I have a question for David in terms of reading his new book, uh, The Sun Mysteries, which I'm uh, very enjoying very much. Thanks. And one of the chapters was um, Nikola Tesla, the Pete Peterson, the Nikola Tesla Black Ops. Yep. Is one of them is about Black Jesus, where there's a sudden being appearing in Africa. Yep. And I just want to know if you know any more information you would share with us, because I thought that was very captivating to me. And I just wanted more information on yeah, uh, the Black Thank Jesus you, story. The Black Jesus story was uh, probably one of the most shocking things I ever heard. Um, it came from my insider uh, Jacob. I call him that in the book, who actually was working for the Rothschilds and still does, and um, also is a whistleblower who doesn't really do what they want, but continues to work for them because he feels like. There's some very serious extraterrestrial threats to Earth and that what they're doing is very necessary to protect us. So the story goes that in the 1960s, there was a black man uh, in Africa who came in with abilities complementary to those of Jesus. And uh, he was performing miracles. He was starting to get people to listen to what he had to say. And the cabal tried to kill him and you know they could shoot him in the head and his skull would just regenerate and the flesh would grow back and uh, he was fine and uh, you know so the crazy story that I heard which and, and remember I was told at the time that if I disclosed this that I would be uh, killed and I ended up putting it in the book anyway um, the story was that this guy, uh, you know, they finally said, okay, we're going to bring you to the United Nations and share your message with the world. Let's get you on this flight. They, they bring him on this flight, and instead of bringing him to the United Nations, they shot him repeatedly and then actually had some kind of meat grinder device uh, and basically like a bandsaw, I guess, and sawed up his body into a whole bunch of pieces, put him in these very... Uh, very like radioactive shielded uh, containers and then had all these fighter jets dock with the plane and fly his body parts to all corners of the world where then these containers um, uh, turned them into ash. And uh, they thought that maybe this would defeat him, like that his body somehow, the tissue was necessary. So if they destroyed all the tissue in all these places across the world, maybe they could defeat him. Well, he then regenerated in, in their offices and was fully fine, fully intact. But the sad part is that he said, you know, I, you guys so badly do not want me to be here that I am not going to be able to do any more. You're going to get what you want. But bear in mind that in the future, many others like me will be coming. And when they do, you will not be able to stop us. Wow. Wow. Well, that is all I know. Unfortunately, right. there's nothing more to the story than that. Um, I this is Acts chapter 1 and 7 and 8. And it says, And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power, but ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakat Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect. And much respect to the brothers pushing this word in the four winds of the earth. And shalom to you few sisters out there as well. This is Brother Ariyah coming at you with another lesson. Okay? And the video, you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are familiar with that video, the Black Jesus story, you know? And... You know, pretty soon the Heavenly Father is going to bestow his power amongst the men that is written in the book of life, man. 
And these men are going to be more powerful than anything anyone's ever seen before. And these men are going to be able to do things that no one else can do. There's going to be a lot of marvelous works being done by the men of the Lord, man, the 144,000 mighty men, okay? And in that story, he was saying how they were shooting him and, you know, he kept regenerating, his skin would regenerate and the holes would close and all that. And that reminds me of uh, Wolverine, man. You know, Wolverine has that type of ability where he heals super fast, man. But more, more than that, even more abilities than that are going to be bestowed upon the elect, man. And Lord willing, I'm of that number, man. Because I definitely want to see my enemies uh, suffer, man. I want them to pay for all the wrongs and the evils that they've done in the earth, man. And Lord willing, I'm a part of that, you know. And the Heavenly Father is going to bestow his power, you know, on these men. Let me get Isaiah. Isaiah 59 and 19. Let me see. Start at 18. Hold on. Hold on, Salakia. Let me just start at 18. It says, according to their deeds, accordingly he will pay fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the islands he will repay recompense. So shall they fear the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Okay? And, you know, these things are about to happen real soon, man. Okay? We're going to be seeing brothers, and Lord willing, I'm one of them, see brothers doing marvelous works, man. Okay? Because the Heavenly Father's word does not go out void, man. The Heavenly Father is not a liar. The Heavenly Father says something's going to happen. You best believe it's going to happen, man. And the Heavenly Father says when the when the enemy comes in like a flood, which is going to happen real soon, he's going to lift up a standard against the against the enemy, man. Okay? And spiritual power is going to be given to the men that is chosen by him, man. The men that have 144% faith in him, man. Okay? And those men are going to stand boldly against, you know, all adversity that comes against them, man. And they're going to be doing some extraordinary things, man. Okay. And uh, let me get uh, Psalms 124, man. Psalms 124, man. Let's go two through seven. And it says, if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick with their wrath, when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Okay? And the Heavenly Father is going to be with the men that he chooses in that day, man. All right? And anything pretty much that they can think of, you know, they'll be able to do, man. You know, in order to get themselves out of certain situations. Right? They'll be able to heal. Right? Right? probably be able to materialize and dematerialize 
right? You know, fire coming out their eyes, electricity coming out their hands, right? You know, be able to do like Superman do and just, you know, blow the enemy away, man, with their mouth, man, with the wind of their mouth, you know, with the breath of their mouth, man. You know, just doing superhero things, man. You know, the elect is going to be on superhero time, man. You know, time's a thousand, man. In this day, you're going to see brother and the brother Gabar Dama just, you know, did a lesson on a, a dream that he had, you know, where he was flying, man. You know, a lot of brothers is going to be flying and, you know, levitating, disappearing, reappearing somewhere else, teleporting, right? going to be able to have, you know, put like an orb around them to block, you know, anything that's being, um, you know, shot at them, you know, or just be on some Neo shit, man, from uh, the Matrix and just put your hand up and whatever bullet or whatever's coming at you, you make it stop in midair, man, you know, or you can make it turn around, you know, that whatever projectile is shot at you or them. Make it turn around and, and, and go right back at the person that shot it, man. You know, it's going to be a lot of uh, uh, a lot of things happening, man. You know, and it's, it's a beautiful time, man, to be alive, man. And Lord willing, we get to live to see these things happening. Lord willing, most of all, you know, we get to be the ones that do these things, man. Okay, Lord willing, we are worthy to do these things. Let me get Psalms 110. Okay, I want Psalms 110 and 1 through 3, right? And it said, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thy enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power and the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning that thou hast to do of thy youth, okay? And the Heavenly Father is going to, definitely going to be working through, you know, whoever he chooses to be the ones to get the spiritual power, man, okay? He's going to be working through those particular men, okay? And through those particular men, he's going to make the enemy the footstool, man, okay? These, these are, you know, they making all these robots, you know, I just seen a damn robot do a backflip and then come with a, a three-piece. You know, he was fighting the air. But still, man, Esau is a mad scientist, an evil genius. And he's making things that we haven't even seen yet, man. Okay? And when the enemy comes in like a flood, he's going to come with all types of things like that. The robot dogs, you know, with the M16s, with the M16s on them. Right? Esau got a whole bunch of shit, man. You know, who knows, man? It could be, a, you know, people turning into zombies out here because they took that serpent sauce. You know, it's a beautiful time to be alive, but it's a scary time to be alive, too, because at the end of the day, we don't know what's going to happen or how it's going to happen or when it's going to happen. But we know that it's coming, man. And we pray that the Heavenly Father is with us through it all, man. You know? Let me get Psalms 18. You get uh, 23 uh, through 40, uh, around 41, 42. And it says, I was also upright before him, and I kept myself from my iniquity. Matter of fact, let's start at 28. And it says, For thou wilt light my candle, the Lord my power will enlighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my power have I leaped over a wall, man. Okay, brothers is going to be able to jump over a wall, a, a damn, you know, 50-story building. You know, brothers is going to be able to do pretty much anything, man. Okay, and that day, you know, brothers are going to be like gods on the earth, man. Okay, as for the Most High, His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in Him, right? For who is the Most High, save the Lord, or who is a rock, save our power? It is the Most High that girdeth me with strength, 
and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon my high places. He teaches my hand to war so that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. Though thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation and the right hand have holden me up and thy gentleness have made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me that my feet did not slip. I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them, neither did I turn again till they were consumed. I have wounded them that they were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet, for thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets, man. Okay? And we're going to be having, we're going to be toying with these, with these Edomites, man, and these other nations. Whoever want to come up against, uh, you know, the elect. I said we. Lord willing, I'm of that number, but, you know, the elect. Men are going to be toying with, you know, these Edomites and these other nations, man. Right? You're going to be toying with them, man. You know, like, like, a, like, a, you know, like when you had kids and you would toy with your kids, man. At the end of the day, they were under your mercy, man. There's nothing really that they can do, you know. If you want to tickle them, you can tickle them. They can't stop it, right? If you want to, you know, Whatever. They're not going to be able to stop. Whatever we want to do, we're going to be able to do. And there's nothing that they are going to be able to do about it, man. Okay? They're going to be helpless and defenseless, man. Okay? And we're going to beat them down to dust and powder, man. Right? And we're going to... Oh, I keep saying we, man. I, I, I want to be humble about this, man. I'm just excited. You know? But they, you know, are going to you know have fun doing it while they're doing it man okay and they're gonna remember all the the wickedness you know that these people been doing man and it's only gonna amplify you know what's coming to them man you know salaki i don't want to come off you know proud like you know i i feel like i'm of the elect because at the end of the day i'm just a vessel that the heavenly father is using man i ain't nobody important we get Isaiah 40, 29 through 31. And it says, uh, he giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might. He increases strength. Okay, this is why, the, you know, the Heavenly Father calls us a worm, you know. Oh, Jacob, thou worm, you know, because a worm is defenseless. It's like we don't have any defense right now, man. We behind enemy lines, man. Okay, we are behind enemy lines in this country. Shit, we behind enemy lines in our own households, man, at the end of the day. You know, we're defenseless, man. You know, we just wait for the Heavenly Father, man. You know, in all things, man. We trust in Him. And it says, even thy youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength and shall mount up with wings as eagles. And they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not be faint. Okay, so that's just, you know, that's uh, infinite stamina right there, man. You know, mount up with wings, man. Like I said earlier, brothers are going to be able to fly, man. Brothers gonna be throwing you know throwing the enemy through wall through brick walls through steel walls right you know <laughs> it's gonna be crazy man it's gonna be crazy time man all of these you know since we've been growing up you know as kids you know watching x-men and uh you know all these uh cartoons where these people have uh special powers and superhuman powers you know, this is really going to come to life. This is something that's really going to be seen out here in the world, man. You know? And 
that's a and Esau knows this is coming. This is why he's gearing up, man. This is why he's making, you know, all these uh mechanical uh defenses. That's what I call them. You know, he's making all these de mechanical defenses, man. Okay? Because he knows what is coming for him, man. And if that story is true about, you know, the black Jesus, then they they know, you know? And I hate saying that J word, man. Okay? But that's what they call it. That's what I'm going to call it, man. All right? His mama, his, not, his mama named him Clay. I'm going to call him Clay. You know? But at the end of the day, we know that that was an angel of the Lord, man. And the Heavenly Father sent, you know, if that is true, the Heavenly Father sent that particular angel to come down and magnify his power, man. Magnify the Heavenly Father's power. Okay? Now, we know Esau is not spiritual and he's not going to look at it that way. But us, we'll look at it that way, man. That was just the Heavenly Father magnifying his power, man. Okay? So Esau knows that more like him is coming back, man. Okay? And that's the 144,000 mighty men. Okay? You know, it's going to be a, a, a grim and dark day for Esau, man. And he sees it as his... uh. Queendom is crumbling down right before his eyes, man. And we know that he's about to make his move pretty soon, man. Okay, I just seen that the brother uh Watchman, uh GMS Watchman put up a video. I didn't get to watch it yet, but I will, that they're having some type of uh, you know, talks, you know, with the FBI and other government agencies about uh, you know, the anti, you know what. The anti, you know what, uh, you know, people, man, and the things that are going on in the internet, you know. So we know that they're coming, man. Okay, so we're preparing ourselves spiritually for what's gonna come. We already know what's gonna come, man. You know, we're not gonna be caught uh, caught by a surprise because you know we're preparing ourselves for these things, man. You know, but Lord willing, you know, <laughs> Lord willing, the Heavenly Father grants me. To have spiritual power, man. You know? Because we going, you know, it's going to be needed. You know? It's definitely going to be needed, man. Because Esau is pulling out all the stops. You know? Let me get Isaiah 41 and 14 through 15. It says, Fear not thou worm, Jacob. That's what I was saying earlier. And ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord. And thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small and shalt make the hills as chaff. Thou shalt fan them and the wind shall carry them away. Right? That's why I was saying like, you know, the Superman power. You could just, you know, have a giant gust of wind come out your mouth and blow your enemies away, you know? And the whirlwind shall scatter them. You know, you can spin around so fast you create a tornado, man. You know, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel, man. Okay, so in these days and times, the Heavenly Father is really, really going to magnify his power, man. And people are going to know that it's the Heavenly Father that is doing all the things that are about to come on the earth, man. Okay, see, a lot of people don't magnify the Heavenly Father now. You know, neither do do they acknowledge him, okay? But in these days, they're not going to have any choice but to acknowledge him, man. Because the things that's going to be coming on the earth have never been seen by anyone on the earth. And they're going to know that it's the Heavenly Father that is doing all of them things, man. Okay? And that day, the Heavenly Father is going to be feared. And he's going to be exalted, man. And rightfully so. Let's get Zachariah. Get 12, 4, and 9, man. And it says, In that day, saith the Lord, I will smite every horse with astonishment and his rider with madness. And I will open my eyes upon the house of Judah, and I will smite every horse of the people with blindness. And the governors of Judah shall say in their heart, The inhabitants of Jerusalem shall be my strength, and the Lord of hosts their power. 
In that day will I make the governors of Judah like an heart of fire among the wood, and like a torch of fire in a sheaf. And they shall devour all the people round about, on the right hand and on the left. And Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place, even in Jerusalem. Okay? The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first, and the glory of the house of David, and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. Okay? Let me see. And in that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, man. Okay, David was a warrior, man. Okay? And the house of David shall be as, as the Most High, as the angel of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, before them. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem, okay? And, you know, the 144 uh, elect mighty men, you know, going to be fucking a lot of these nations up, man, okay? Because, you know, some of them is not going to want to repent, man. You know, pretty much, you know, a lot of them, I'll say a lot of them is not going to want to repent, man, okay? Because they have it in their mind, you know, that, you know, they guys that they want to serve and all that, man. Or their ways of life, or things that they're accustomed to doing, man. Okay, so these things that you know are gonna have to be beaten out of them, man. Okay, and in that day, man, they gonna, you know, you nations, y'all gonna be praising the name of Yahweh while Yahweh shy, man. Okay, ain't gonna be no more Buddha, you know, no more uh, uh, Allah, right, or whatever other gods y'all serve out there, man. Right? Those false gods that have no power. Okay? You're going to be serving the one and true God, Yahweh, man. Okay? The Heavenly Father. And that day, man. So everything that you know now is going to be beaten out of you, man. Okay? And this is what's going to be put into you, man. All right? And you're going to be serving Yahweh while Yahweh shy, man. All right? The Heavenly Father is gonna put the Spirit on on um on uh the 144, you know, to take out whoever is not trying to, you know, fall in order, man. All right. And that day, you know, a lot of them are gonna be put to death, man. Okay. Let me get Mark. Mark uh, 16. Let's get 15 through 18. I'm going to make this quick. Okay. And, and he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth shall not be damned. And these things and, and these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover, man. Okay? And that's going to be a beautiful thing, too, which is spiritual, a spiritual power, man. Because, you know, brothers is going to be able to speak multiple languages, man. You know, whoever they may encounter, man, whatever language they speak, the brothers will, will already know how to speak that language and, and communicate with that particular person, man. Okay? And that's how it's going to be in the kingdom too, man. You know? You're going to, you know, tell them that, tell the ass to get to work, man, in, in Lebanese or whatever the hell they speaking. Right? And it says, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover, man. Okay, and that's a that's going to be a beautiful time as well, too. Some brothers already have the power to heal somewhat, man, you know. And um, and shit, one, one account with me, man, my daughter had a badass headache because she just got braces put in, man. And them braces was tightening and it was really hurting her head, man, you know. And um, this was before I came into the truth, man. 
but I just focused and I put my hand on her head, right? And I was just really just meditating, you know what I'm saying? And I felt something in my hand was tingling, man. And I would say after three or four minutes, I transferred. I, I kid you not, man. I'm not have you know. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Profit me nothing to lie to you. I transferred my daughter's headache to me, man. And I did it right in front of my wife, man. My wife was bugged out about it, like, yo, what the hell? Because my daughter was really in pain, man. You know. And she got right up and started skipping. She was, you know, a little, you know, younger than man. She was like seven, eight. You know, she was like, oh, I feel so much better now. She went back in her room watching her cartoons. And I had to lay down, man, because my head was hurting like a motherfucker, man. You know? But Brothers is going to be able to do a lot of marvelous works. A lot of works that, you know, Yahweh Shai did, man. You know, restoring people's uh, sight, eyesight, man. Restoring limbs, you know? Cut off limbs. Restoring hearing. You know, whatever ailment anyone could have. You know, it, you know, brothers will be able to restore it, man. You know, and that's going to be a beautiful time too, man. And nothing, nothing will be able, you know, be able to hurt, hurt brothers, man. Regardless if you drink, you know, some venom or, or what have you, man, nothing's going to hurt them. You know, let me get uh, John 14. Hey, I'm probably like, yo, that nigga lying. Nah, I promise you. <laughs> I'm not lying, man. You know? I promise you I'm not. That's, that's a fact. That happened. You know? And there's a couple of other accounts too. But I'm, like I said, I ain't making it about me, man. John 14 and 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my father, okay? So, you know, the things that Yahweh Shai was out here doing, you know, brothers is going to be able to do too. But it's going to we're going to be able to do a, a greater work, Lord willing. I keep saying we. They are going to be able to do a greater, even greater work than Yahweh Shai did, man, okay? And the number of um, miracles that Yahweh Shai performed can't even be contained in books, man, because there's so many of them, man. You know, our brothers are going to be able to do greater works than Yahweh Shai did. And Yahweh Shai did a lot of marvelous works, man. You know, and only some of his works were recorded in the Bible. But you can just imagine all the other things that he did while he walked the earth, man. Right. I wanted to go back into this as far as uh, the other... um. other languages that brother's going to be speaking because that's that's spiritual power too man this is acts 2 and 1 through 5 and when the day of pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting and there appeared unto them clothing tongues like as a fire and it sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven, man. Okay? And that's a, that's a beautiful thing, man. To even be able to speak uh, three or four languages is incredible to me to be able to um, understand that. But there are hundreds of languages out here, man. Okay, and brothers is going to be able to speak every one of them, man, through spiritual power, man. You know, whoever you come across, you'll be able to communicate them, communicate with them, you know, no matter what language they speak, man. You know, there's a lot of, uh, man, there's some, some wonderful times coming, man. You know, and for you that's just coming in, man, you know, these things are definitely about to come on the earth, man. You literally, you're literally going to see you know, brothers flying in the air, man. You're going to see brothers disappearing and reappearing, okay? You're going to see brothers fighting against soldiers with tanks and guns and rocket launchers and claymores and grenade launchers or, you know, what have you. And brothers are going to be able to stand against that without a weapon in sight, man, okay? 
Because all that's going to be needed is, is the power of the Lord, man. The spirit of the Lord that's going to be flowing through these men, man. Okay? And there's going to be a lot of wonderful works being done, man. And Esau is scared to death, man. Because he knows what's, he knows what's coming. Esau knows what his end is going to be. Okay? And he knows what he's going to be put through before his end comes, man. And this is why this man is operating the way he is, man. Because he's scared, man. And he should be. He should be scared, man. Okay? Because like the like the, the story said, man, you know, many more like me are coming back and you will not be able to do anything to stop it, man. So these devils are scared to death, man. Okay? So Lord willing... You know, this lesson was edifying, man. I know it went a little long, but spirit came on me to do a lesson like this. So I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, double honor to the apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well, peace and salutations to the elect, and much respect to the brothers pushing this word in the four winds of the earth. It's Brother Aviyah Shalom.